Hello, it's me. I have just cleaned out my closet, or rather I'm right in the middle of cleaning out my closet. I just filter and like packed away everything that I'm giving away slash maybe selling. But before I put everything away back into my closets and my drawers, I decided that it was a prime time to finally film me trying on everything that I own in my closet. So I'm not gonna be showing you clothes that I primarily exercise or lounge in. So buckle your seatbelts because for somebody who literally just or slash is cleaning out her closet. She still owns a lot of stuff. My closet is primarily made up of sweaters, so let's get started on that. Basically, I believe that I own more sweaters than the regular person because I used to go to college in Boston and now I go to college in Illinois, so overall just cold areas. And so most of the year tends to be winter weather slash just generally cold weather. And so I have a lot of opportunity to wear these sweaters. Also, I just think that sweaters have the comfort of sweatshirts, but look a little bit more spruced up and put together. Basically, all I wanted to say was that I own a lot of sweaters and I'm trying to justify it. Moving on to shirts. I don't own a lot of shirts, but I own quite a lot of button-ups. I really like wearing button-ups as a layer. I very rarely wear them by themselves, but I like wearing them under a sweater or over a t-shirt or something. I think that it looks real cool. Now moving into the tees, I really like using my tees for layering or just introducing a new neckline or pattern into an outfit. Some elements of my wardrobe definitely tend to go more towards the formal side and so I think that these tees are a really good balance for that in an outfit to make sure that something still seems a little bit casual. I think my favorite category of clothing is jackets slash coats. I realize that most of these things in this category are not exactly the most useful. For example, my rain jacket is cropped. My trench coat is not waterproof or whatever by any means. I have a booger yellow corduroy jacket with no hood. And these things are very clearly low-key nonsensical, but I have so much fun when I wear them. I think that overall, I love this section of my closet the most. Dresses like sweaters are at that rare intersection between looking really put together, but also being really convenient to put on because it is just one piece. I feel like dresses are probably the simplest way of looking like you put in so much thought and effort and planning into your outfit when really it just could have been the first thing that you saw that morning. Here are my more formal dresses that I cling on to in case I have a fun event. I have my prom dress in case I get invited to a black tie thing, I guess. I feel like bottoms are typically the most underrated category of clothing. I think that way because a good bottom really goes a long way. I think it's a little bit more unexpected to have a bit of a unique pant rather than a typical skinny jean, although I will admit I own a lot of skinny jeans, but I really love my pants that have patterns or have a more interesting fit. I'm gonna finish this section off with my favorite pair of pants. So that wraps up all of the clothing that I currently have, hopefully. I did see that since recording, apparently I lost some files. I went back through and it seems like all my clothes are there, so cross your fingers. Again, I have a lot of loungewear slash exercise wear that I didn't show. I had a lot of fun filming this because I got to try on every piece of clothing that I really love. I just cleaned up my closet and I really do feel like every piece in my wardrobe has its own place. So. Go us, feeling great, had an awesome time sharing it with you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!